Network, Biker News You Can Trust. And as always, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in from wherever it is in the world that you happen to be. Well, it is Saturday afternoon. It's beautiful. I'm supposed to be taking a little vacation here in my RV out by the lake to do some fishing and everything out on my boat, but it looks like it's getting ready to rain like hell. So I get to run in here and do this uh, story real, real quick. So I guess I'm, I'm really still working. Um, but I wanted to get this story in. And this is one of those great stories. So I would like for you to share this story. Uh, you guys often want me to do good biker stories, but you don't share them. Now, if I, if I talk about a biker gang uh, shot up a, a, a bar or something like that, you guys will share that everywhere. But when uh, we talk about these great stories that really embody who and what we are, you guys don't like them, you don't share them. So please like and share this story because this story is fantastic. Now, uh, as you guys know, I'm a news source, so I belong to a news wire and we get you know, the stories come in off the wire, I read them. And what sucks about this story, this story was sent to me. Well, nothing sucks about the story, but the circ- this story was sent to me uh, by one of my subscribers. And the, 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 you know, I always like to do my due diligence on a story. So if I get a story, I get pictures or whatever sent to me by a subscriber, then I want to get online and check out the story and, and get the back and forth and see who I can call and all that kind of stuff. You know, you guys know me. I like to get both sides of the story. In this instance, I've been looking all over the Internet, and I can't find, uh, except for a a couple of biker channels, um, I can't find uh, this story anywhere except a story that's covered by us, other other biker-centric channels like ours. So uh, this is not a a story you're going to see on network news. But we uh, have some video and uh are actually some pictures we're going to roll this and the name of the story is the outcast nation virginia chapter um now the way i read this story and let me let me see what i can get here uh what we understand is that it appears that some uh bikers from the mighty outcast motorcycle club nation virginia chapter uh, stopped by a car that had a woman in it and the car was on fire. And I'm not clear yet as to whether or not the brothers, uh, uh, look at that fire back there in that picture. I'm not clear as to whether or not the brothers pulled the lady out of the car, but it seems like they're one of the first on the scene. You don't see any ambulance or paramedics or anything in that picture, um, right over there. So you can see that they're rendering aid to this lady and some kind of way she was involved in a burning car. And there they are. That Our brother's out there doing uh, the, the very incredible and wonderful things that they do. I, I'm just, I am really inspired by this picture. I, this picture inspires me because um, all we ever hear is negative stuff. And to watch these guys out here, and I, I did a video uh, earlier today, a poem was written by uh, somebody that, I, that I've been watching for a while, and, and it, it's called uh, The Letter of the True Spirit of the One Percenter. And, and you're looking at it right there. You're looking at the true spirit of the One Percenter right there. The, the never leave a man behind, never leave a person behind, protecting the innocent protecting women and children, um, being good ambassadors, making bikers look incredible here. Because bikers are incredible. Those of us who are bikers, we, we know the true spirit by which we ride. And looking at our big brothers over here, showing the good stuff about what we do is amazing and inspiring to me. And knowing that this lady... Whenever she sees that patch, she's not going to believe a damn thing you got to say negative about that patch. And that's what we have to do. Our, those are the people that vote, the citizens, the, the people that, that, the little people, the people that get out there and they punch that ticket. And I can promise you, 
everybody driving by that scene, seeing those colors on those brothers' backs, you're not going to be able to tell those people any negative stuff. Oh, that's a gang. Oh, oh, they're a this. Oh, they're a that. Oh, because uh, all they see right now are heroes, just like 9-11 people running into buildings. They're seeing heroes right now, just like uh, firemen on the side of the road risking their lives to pull people out of cars. They're seeing heroes in this picture. We are seeing heroes because they are heroes. And you can look at the love and the care and the dedication, and you can look at how involved they are and how their intention is on that woman and making sure that that woman is taken care of. Uh, and, you know, she, she just looks, if you look at that picture, she just looks out of it like, oh, my gosh. Uh, and when you see the spectacular blazing fire, and you guys know cars blow up, running up to that car, and, and I did it. I've done that. I was, I was uh, in search and rescue in my younger life. Uh, I worked on many search and rescue teams. I know the fear of running up on a car and not knowing whether or not it's going to explode. You know, you see all the movies and the car explodes. Uh, it's not as necessarily as spectacular as that in real life, but it does absolutely happen. And so you're running up on that car and your mind is ticking. I got a few seconds to get this person out of here and this car is going to blow up. Your mind's ticking. Your heart's ticking. Uh, you're, you're, you're beating. You're, your heart's beating at a, uh, an incredible vibration, an incredible pulse. And you're just trying to do something good. And when you jump in there and you risk your, yourself, you're not trying to die or something like that. It's a calculated risk. You know you can do it. I got a few seconds. I can make this happen, and I can save a life. But this comes from a greater concern, a concern for the, the, the human beings of the world. And that's what we find that bikers are like. How many of us stop on the side of the road to help people? How many of us push cars on the side of the road, help other brothers push start their motorcycles how many of us have done first aid how many of us have looked out after people but these messages don't get out they'll never show these messages but we've got biker related channels biker news you can trust and we have millions of people that watch us too and so i want everybody to see the mighty outcast motorcycle club nation shine and the brothers of the virginia chapters showing the good stuff that this old and noble, all black, one percenter motorcycle club looks like. And uh, I guess that's my two cents. I'm very just chest is full, proud uh, to see these brothers reach out to help this citizen. And I can, I like I say, the citizens that saw these brothers on the side of the road see those patches. They're, they'll they'll see friendly patches when they ride. Whenever they see that, ever they see a patch like that on the road somewhere at a gas station, they're going to walk up and say, man, you guys are something else. Can my kids take a picture with you? And we need more. We need more of this. We need to show more of this because it happens. It's not like we need to generate this. This happens, but we absolutely need to show more of this. So to my viewer who sent this to me, Bravo Zulu, thank you so much. Uh, and I'm sure that uh, uh, the, the, the nation over there would be proud to know that we are looking and folks are looking out for them to help get their positive stories out. So I'd love to hear your two, se uh, two cents in the comment section below. I'm Black Dragon, Black Dragon Biker News Network, Biker News You Can Trust. You can get Black Dragon Biker TV on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram TV. The Dragon's Lair Motorcycle Chaos is our weekly podcast, and bikerliberty.com is where you can go to get our printed news version. You'll see this story and many others like it, and we've got gear at blackdragonsgear.com. All right. Thanks for tuning in, and get skinny. <laughs>